Welcome to a small town in Missouri. We're here to clean out our brother's mansion. He runs a $14 million farming operation, and we're here to clean it out because he said he's done. And when my brother says done, that means that he's done. And we get to take any vehicles we find at this property. He said we get 100% full ownership. Here it is, the main gates. I haven't been here in over 10 years, but let's pull into this place. Check in with security, and then we should be able to check out the rest of the property. He said he's added a ton of additions. Oh, no. There we go. Hello, hello. Just clearing through. Uh, this is the brother here to claim all the vehicles. That's right. So he said that there should be some vehicles located here still. He says he hasn't even been here in two years. Hence why he's giving us the property. So I'm excited to show you guys this place. It is an 8,000 square foot mega ranch mansion house. So it's kind of a shop and a mansion all in one. And it's got two wings to the property. There's an east and a south wing. So it's pretty sweet. Check out how big this place is. So very cool. It's a barn dominium style house because his farming operation is about a mile down the road. So he's got a giant ranch where he's got a farming cattle operation, you know, corn, soybeans, kind of the whole nine yards. So it's pretty sweet. And we brought a giant trailer with us today, which we rented from U-Haul to tow everything back that we find. Hopefully we don't find more than two vehicles because that's all we got room for. If you guys like seeing these videos and you want to see more, make sure to hit the thumbs up button down below. And also, while you're down there, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Over 95% of you guys that watch the videos aren't subscribed, and I would appreciate it a ton if you did. All right, sir. Hello there. Yeah, we're checking in just to find vehicles. Looks like we got a blue supercar already right off the bat. Okay, we're going to be... Oh, there's another supercar in here. Check it out. We've got the keys to every vehicle located in this desk drawer. Here we go. Okay, we got a Ford GT key, and then we've got a Ferrari key. What kind of Ferrari is that thing? Oh my gosh, look at these things. Toyo Newing AIP W2 TSW. I don't even know, but those are expensive. That's all I know. High price tag, baby. That's what our brother did is he spent a lot of money on his things. He kept them in great condition. He's got a full-time mechanic there still working, making sure these things are ready for the track. But this is a... SF90. Okay, I've seen this car before on an advertisement. Then what do we got? Two dirt bikes. Okay, we'll have to rip these things around the ranch, see what's going on. And uh, let's check out the actual house. And then we got to go to the south wing. Alrighty, lots of doors here. Let's check it out. Okay, we got a laundry room. So if we ever have to wash our clothes, we got a light switch. Master bedroom. Okay, I think I've, I remember the layout. Wow, giant bathroom. Look at that shower. You got the rain shower. This is luxury for sure. Double sink. Very, very cool. And of course, a 65-inch flat-screen TV. So, you know, we'd be watching TV in style. We've got a little day bathroom here right off the kitchen. Oh, even got a five-star rating. Okay, this must be a nice place to go. You never know what you have until it's gone. Wow, that is a true statement. If you run out of toilet paper, you just get very unlucky. But all right, what do we got here? Oh, here's some farming pictures. So this is from our grandfather's ranch, which our brother turned into a $14 million operation, hence making him a millionaire. And uh, it all started with sunflowers in this old sunflower farm truck. Old F-100. Then he moved up to an old barn, which uh, eventually became abandoned with this old Ford tractor. And here's what it is today. A giant farming cattle operation with a massive silo barn. And you can just tell the difference in the progress that this farm has made. So very cool. Oh, there's a nice picture up there. Flip the lights on. Giant kitchen. This is sweet. How did that get up there? What? That must have been a party that I didn't know about, but uh, we don't need to ask about that. We've got a giant living room TV. Here's actually the pond that's located at the farm, but the big red barn. So that's a cool place. There's tons of barns on the farm. We got a smart fridge, some cool pictures from the sunsets, pretty much everything. So now we're going to head upstairs. These are probably his kid's room, Sonny and Lily. Okay, so this is Sonny's room. He's got the cool posters, the video game posters, and... They don't go here either. There's a bathroom in the middle, and then this is Lily's room. So she's got all princesses. So those are his two kids, but they've not been here in a while. And here is the backyard. So we're going to go to the south wing, which is another shop identical to the other one, which is insane. Check it out. So there's nothing in here, but there is this black on black GMC 2500. This thing is pretty customized. I think this is his ranch truck. So he drives it around the farm and just gets work done with it. And there's nothing in here. I think he's got another mechanic over there, too. Hey, sir. Hello, hello. If you're able to take the Ferrari off the lift, I think Alphonse needs help with that. Okay, great. Thanks. So, yep. And then that just goes into a day bathroom. You got another computer here. So, yeah, that's it. So, that's the south wing. You got the east wing over here with the big shop back door right here. It's kind of cool because this is a wraparound driveway. Wraps around all the way to the front. And then you also got the main front driveway. So, very cool. Okay, we got to help Alphonse and the other guy. I think his name is Philip. So he needs help getting these cars down. He just swapped the oil out on this thing because no one's drove it in a while. But it should be running smooth. We just got to let it idle up and we'll be good. Here we go. All right, it's running. 
before we put it into gear we'll leave it at neutral and give it a few revs there we go okay i think it should be good we're gonna come back for the 4 gt so make sure you stay tuned and let's go take this thing for a rip down the street we're gonna go outside of the gates it's kind of cool having a full double security team with a double gate that is definitely a nice feature there's a guy outside our gate watch out sir coming through private residence get off the property Sorry, I had to do that because, you know, they're going to get hit with the gate if we don't move them. But, uh, yeah, this thing is quick. This is a nice Ferrari. Not as fast as the ones I've seen, though. It's, it's definitely slow, but I think maybe the oil's got a little bit of a break-in period until this thing is running high oil pressure and, you know, fuel line, all that stuff. It hasn't been raining in like a year or two, so. All right, let's pull a U-turn. Here we go. Look at this thing. Turning is amazing. You got the new tires on it, straight piped, titanium exhaust, so definitely a great vehicle. If you guys like supercars, hit the like button down below. Personally, my favorite car is the Corvette Z06 C8, but uh, we have yet to see one in this game. Hey, maybe soon, but all right, let's park this thing up. We're going to park it just in the front for now. Let it get some sunlight. That thing hasn't been out in a while. It's got a lot of dust on it, and here's the 4 GT. So this is a cool-looking car. Full track car, titanium exhaust, carbon fiber accents. You get the stripe carbon fiber painted mirrors. So what it is is carbon fiber underneath, and they match the paint color to the front stripe color. So you got the Ford blue racing carbon fiber stripe. Very nice looking vehicle with this paint color. And then you actually have the matching brake caliber. So it's cool. It's fired up. We're gonna switch it into track modes. That's gonna lower our suspension, bring up our spoiler. And also it automatically angles our wheels and tires for track and better turning and handling on this vehicle. So it's definitely a big upgrade and We'll have to see what this thing does on the street. So let's go outside the gates. Oh yeah, this thing's a lot faster than the Ferrari. This one's a little bit more expensive. Oh my gosh, 120. Oh, this thing's cooking. 140, 150. Okay, once you shift gears, this thing just drops. Oh, 190. Okay, wow, we are flying right now. Look at this thing go 200. All right, break, break, break. And the braking is amazing on it. In the sunlight, this car looks even better. It looks like almost like a silver titanium white paint. It's not an exact metallic white, but it is a special kind of color. It looks good in the sun, though, so that's all that matters. Let's get this thing back. And we've got some more vehicles to drive today before we're done with this property. We're going to load these things on the trailer so we're ready to go. And I was fearing that we weren't going to have enough space on our trailer to get everything back, and I was correct. Our brother, you know, he's got a lot of vehicles around here, so we're going to have to make two trips, but let's get the ramps down on the trailer, get the cars loaded up. I think what we're going to do is back the cars on, just because if there's any rocks on the road, we do not have an enclosed trailer. And if you guys didn't know, when you're transporting vehicles, sometimes rock chips and other debris can fly up in the car, causing damage. And if we're going to have any damage, I'd rather have it on the back side of the car than the front side, because it would just be all right. There's an exhaust pipe back there, and it's not as much parts in the back as they're in the front so all right looks good let's back the ferrari on we're being nice and careful because realistically we're not going to keep these vehicles for long probably keep them for a month the insurance is just too high for us to pay so i think we're gonna have to sell them which is why i want to keep them in best condition to get our money's worth so all right we got a strap here let's go front and back tire i think yeah that looks good front tire on this and okay cars are loaded up we might be able to throw the dirt bike there or actually in the back of our truck would be okay so we'll just have to make one more trip for the gmc truck so let's actually let's go take that thing for a spin make sure it runs that is the ranch truck i think we'll might be taking a little spin over to the farm i'll show you guys that fire this bad boy up Ooh, look at this underglows that looks sweet and then you got your light bar package all the fun lights all right i love the underglows that's accessory one on the switches here so wow that's a nice feature Okay, here we go. We're exiting the main gate, and like I said, we're going to give you guys a farm tour. So let's pull out here and then take a left. Like I said, it's about maybe a half mile, mile down the road. Not far. It's in town, which is really cool. Usually, you don't have farms in town, and it makes it convenient to pick up, you know, fertilizer, seed, pretty much anything. There's our silo system, and this place stretches for about seven hundred acres. So it's definitely a lot of space for farmable land, plus the cattle operation. So here we go. This is the main entrance. You'll find another silo system on the right. Main offices. We've got the way station for drop off and deliveries. We got the whole grain silo system with the loading garage. So the semi pulls straight in there. If it's raining, there's no issues. More storage. And then there's another building over there for the cattle. So that's pretty cool. We got a ton. And I mean a ton of just unused and hydrous tanks. So I think we might actually have to clean this up. That'll be for maybe another episode. So if you want to see us come clean up this farm, oh my gosh, even more tanks. We actually have direct railroad access as well. 
And what that means is we can transport our grain anywhere in the country and sell it where the highest price is available. So we make a ton of money on grain. You know, we're not local. We don't sell to the elevator and we get to decide where we sell the grain. So it's kind of a cool feature. You drive through here. That's the semi unloading point number two. And my brother even owns a bakery right there. So that's a part of the farm operation too. Not the garage, but that's an old man. He owns the Clever Motors building. This is the original Clever Motors building. Look at this. This is where it all started, just out of this showroom and that workshop there. So that's pretty cool. If you guys have seen the Clever Motors series, where we kind of visit that shop. That's where they sell vehicles, pretty much anything, and it's pretty cool. And this is the on farm helper house. So any helpers on the farm, they stay in that house. It's a four bedroom, so there's plenty of space. Usually people are running the farming operation, and you know, my brother's not doing any farming, just maybe when he wants to. He's got to run his other businesses, and these are the mechanics houses for all the equipment so it's all part of the farm and then it connects back to the city so that is it for the farming tour we've got one more thing to do and that's to test drive the dirt bike so we're gonna go rip those around the fields that we own as well show you kind of the 700 acres that it stretches to and i'll meet you guys back at the house okay this dirt bike got kickstarted really quickly there was no issues no oil issues nothing this thing runs like a dream and it's a yamaha so you know I guess it would, but here we go. Let's go at the main gate. Here he goes. He opens it for us. We're going to go take a right out of here. This connects to all of our fields. Oh, this thing rips. So over here, we've got some crop that I do not know. I'm not sure. I don't think those are sunflowers just yet, but I think they could be in the early growing processes of sunflowers. If you didn't know, that's where the farming operation all started was sunflower farming. And uh, that's it. And then we also own all these fields to the left of this. This is all soybeans and oats. So that's about, you know, 100 acres in its own. And then we wrap around to the right here and we'll be able to connect to the other fields. There's another farming guy. I think he actually does logging as well. So that guy's to the left. We do not own this field. There's a ton of rocks on it. As you can see, let's go on it for a second. Look at all the rocks. That is not suitable for farming. Oh, get back on the road. And we take good care of our fields. And that means we drive through with a dirt bike. Don't do this. Oh my gosh, it's fine. It will only lose a little bit of crap, but... We've also got a wheat field, so we kind of do a little bit of everything. Soybeans, wheat, oats. If you can think of it, we probably farm it. So that's pretty cool, and it stretches all the way over there. So it's a big farm, as you can see. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did and you want to see us come back to this property, maybe extend the farm even more or even farm ourselves, which we never do. Hit the thumbs up button down below and subscribe, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.